Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Welcome in as you're streaming in. Thank you so much for everybody who has woken up this morning. Let's begin by sharing the live broadcast and get right on to the word. And we're going to get right in to the prayers and declarations. Welcome, Herbert. I see you. As you're coming in, please let me know where you are tuning in from. Let me know where you're tuning in from as we wait for everybody to just catch up with us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are ready to move move that mountain. As you're coming in, please let me know where you are tuning in from. I just want to make sure that I'm going to be able to read the comments of the people on Facebook as well, because I know sometimes they feel a bit neglected. So today, let me just make sure that I capture them in the whole mix. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this awesome day in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you for everybody that is tuning in. As you're coming in, please make sure you are tapping on the screen. You are tapping on the screen. You are sending those likes. You are sharing the live broadcast in your groups, in your groups, and also to your friends on your WhatsApps, on Facebook, on Instagram, wherever you are. Let's make sure we populate heaven this morning and we depopulate hell. Let's make sure we're getting everybody ready. Tabitha, thank you so much for coming in and already following the host. Everybody who's coming in, make sure that you have followed in, uh, followed the host and you have become part of the team by clicking on that heart button and making sure that we are flowing together. Anna, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you so much. Isaac Bike, I see you for liking the live. Thank you so much, guys. Let's keep tapping on the screen. And as you are preparing your spirit, just whisper something to hold, to the Holy Spirit. Uh, just whisper something to God and tell him how much you love him. Father, we love you. We give you praise, honor, and adoration in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we thank you that we have risen this morning in power. We have risen this morning in glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we are thanking you that we are ready to take on the day today. Noashe from Facebook, I see you. Thank you so much. Thank you for those who are tuning in also on YouTube. This morning, my subject is move that mountain. Amen. I hope you guys um, tuned in last night as well when uh, the apostle was talking about mercy. And I hope that when mercy spoke for you, you knew that this morning you rise with mercy and with grace. Amen. Yvonne from Zambia. God bless you. Thank you so much. It's so good to see everyone where you are tuning in from, everybody that is with us. This month has been our month of 31 days of grace and favor. We have been declaring the word of God around grace and favor. We have been calling grace and favor forth because we know that the Lord gave us this mouth for a reason. Thank you so much, Mpo, for that gift. Thank you so much. Grace is a mountain leveler. It can level any mountain. And that is why this morning I rose up inspired that God can level any mountain. And this morning through our prayers and declarations, we are going to level every single type of mountain because grace is definitely speaking for us. I'm waiting for people to make sure that they are sharing and they're liking the broadcast before I go deeper in. Amen, somebody. We are the generation, us who have woken up this morning, we are the generation that is going to tear down every single mountain that has been an obstacle in our sight. Amen, somebody. We have the necessary grace. The grace of God is sufficient and we are lifting up by that grace. Grace is not only there to give us an exemption from destruction, from the wiles of the enemy, but grace is also there to give us distinction. Somebody receive the distinction from grace this morning. If you are already on my left and you're already on my right. You're already on from the north, the south, the east, the west, whatever continent you're tuning in from. I want you to type in the comment section, move that mountain. Type in the comment section so that I know you are with me. Move that mountain. This is the protocol breaking prayers um, altar and we are here to break every single protocol that the devil wants us to follow because we know we serve a God that breaks protocols for us in the name of 
of Jesus Christ, we live by a different set of rules. We carry grace. And when you carry grace, you are not a candidate for rejection in the mighty name of Jesus. We have the faith to move mountains. My moderator says, yes, indeed. We have the faith to move mountains. When grace speaks, mercy flows. Don't be afraid of the aggression of the enemy. When you carry grace, yes, you are going to face attacks. When you carry grace, the enemy comes in hard and fast against you. Yes, we know, but we are not afraid of this aggression. So Father, this morning we come to you we thank you for your love. We thank you, Lord, that in your love we have found rest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. We give you all the adoration. We say this morning, be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We say, be adored in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah, Lord. We declare this morning you are a faithful God. We declare you are a merciful God. Lord, this morning we rise and we rise by grace, O oh God. We race in the life, uh, in the race of life by grace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, by the grace and this 31 days of grace and favor that we have declared in this month of May 2023, we declare and decree that we, we are rising by grace and that grace will make us great. That grace will make us move with speed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That grace will bring ease to our life. We will do things in an effortless way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare that grace is the key that gives us gifts and talents in our life. That grace will give us a voice to speak we will be heard, Lord, in every platform, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We will be heard in relevant rooms, Lord. We will be heard in impactful rooms, Lord. We will be held heard in influential rooms, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Grave Grace will give us strength, oh God, for that person that is tuned in this morning, that is feeling weak. I say receive the grace of God. We thank you, Lord, that you have given us that grace that has given us the capacity, capacity to to stand, O oh God, where others have fallen, O oh God, where others have failed, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we are making impact. Somebody type in the comment section so that those who have joined us know that we are talking about move that mountain. We are moving mountains. Type in the comment section, move that mountain. Oh Lord, thank you, O oh Lord. We thank you for the word that went forth last night, O oh God, for grace that brought us mercy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that when your word speaks, Lord, grace flows. Oh God, when grace speaks, mercy flows. Oh God, we receive the mercy, oh God, of God in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. We have arrived at the throne of grace this morning, Lord, to obtain mercy, to obtain grace and favor, oh God, in your sight, in the time of our need. There is somebody who woke up this morning and says, Pastor Fortune, this is my time of need. I need the grace and favor of God. I need the mercy of God in the name of Jesus. I need the mercy to release the results that I may not by ordinary means deserve. I know I have wronged God. I know I have missed the mark, but there is mercy that is available for you this morning. I need the favor that will release the results and the consequences that I need. In the name of Jesus, I need the grace that will move me far beyond what I deserve. I need the grace to move me to to watch things that I did not labor for, Lord, because I heard you are a grace moving God. You are the graceful God. Oh God, let your grace speak for me. Somebody type in that mountain, in that comment section, mountain move. Are you ready to move your mountains with the grace that God has given you? Mountain move in the name of of Jesus. I am ready to receive a hundredfold, oh God. I am ready to produce a thousandfold, oh God, by the favor that you are granting us this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, let your mercy speak for us where anger is trying to raise us, where the accuser of the brethren is trying to rise against us. Father, thank you, Lord, that you are the God that forgives mistakes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, Lord, that your mercy will prevent somebody from losing their job. I received a prayer request last Last night, I think somebody said, I'm about to lose my job. They are trying to retrench me. You, your name will not be amongst those that will be retrenched. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may grace speak for you. May grace speak for you. Your name will not be amongst that list. If your name is on that list, your name will be removed. You will not be retrenched. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. <coughs> Hallelujah. May grace and favor give you what you are not qualified for. In the name of Jesus Christ, may mercy 
stop where you are qualified and make sure that your qualifications are seen, where your applications will be seen. You will escape the wiles of the enemy by the mercy of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, we thank you. I speak mercy over somebody's life this morning. I speak mercy as they get into ready to move that mountain. Somebody type it again. Move that mountain. Move that mountain or mountain mover. I don't know what is the mountain that you are here facing this morning. It is time for you to declare and decree. Move that mountain. Hallelujah. Lord, let your mercy speak. This morning we rise with the faith that will move that mountain. Move that mountain. My faith will move that mountain. Come on, somebody. Declare it with me that faith will move that mountain. It is mercy that will disappoint the enemy's expectations against them, against you. In this morning, the Lord says your faith will move that mountain. Mercy will speak for you. Mercy will make sure that your enemies get disappointed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Lord, I am the generation that will make impact. I am the generation that will move that mountain in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I thank you. There is no amount of hatred enemies can, can, can send my way. There is no amount of bitterness, oh God, that will stop me from moving the mountains that I'm facing in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Mpoletisha, I am saying move that mountain. Tell your mountain to move in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, can you confirm uh, that move that mountain because the mercies of God are sufficient and they are doing what they are required for you to do in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, you are moving with grace today. You are moving that mountain in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare you will not be afraid in the name of Jesus Christ. The aggression from the enemy will not stop you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will not die before your time in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I come against every form of disease, hypertension, diabetes, whatever it is called. I don't care. But there is a name called grace that is making sure that it will speak for you. There is a name called mercy that will speak for you. There is something called divine healing. Above all these things, uh, there is a name that is called Jesus. Uh, and that name is above every other name. Uh, that name is above every other sickness. That name is above every other emotional tension that you are following a, or you are going through right now in the name of Jesus. That name is above every form of depression in the mighty name of Jesus. Can somebody type a move that mountain? Mountain move, mountain move. Uh, grace that levels all mountain. Uh, speak for me this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. I rise this morning, oh God. Uh, I stand on the book of Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6 to 9. I say, oh God, who is this mountain that wants to rise against me? Who is this mountain? You will be obliterated. You will be obliterated. You will be obliterated. There is no mountain that will stand against the word of God. There is no mountain that will stand against your revelation this morning. There is no mountain that will stand against your faith. You don't need a bucket load of faith. You need just a mustard seed of faith. Talk to me. Hallelujah. Whatever the mountain you are facing is, whether it is an age-long stronghold that has been fighting you or fighting your family, whatever mountain of impossibility that has been saying it will not move, I declare and I decree that mountain will move. Somebody say, mountain move, mountain move in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we move every established obstruction, whether it has been established for years in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare and we decree that on YouTube, on Facebook, on TikTok, every mountain is moving in our midst. In the name of Jesus, whatever mountain is standing against you and your family, it is moving right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we come against every established limitation. Lord, I speak to the person whose mind is stuck and who is saying, I don't know how I'm going to do it. You do know how you are going to do it. I remove every blockage of, uh, of, of limitation in the name of Jesus. Every established hindrance mountain. Father, we declare and decree this morning, mountain mover, you hindrance mover, limitation mover, impossibility mover. In the name of Jesus Christ, uh, oh Lord, uh, I know that I rose this morning to come uh, to fellowship and to discuss, Lord, uh, with a God that removes any obstacle on the way, uh, the God that removes uh, mountains on my way. Uh, I carry grace uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, mountains are a walk over for you. You carry grace. If the mountain won't move, we go over the mountain. If the mountain will not move, uh, we will scatter the mountain in between. Mm. 
If the mountain is a sea that is trying to drown you, that mountain, that, that sea will have to part the same way like the Red Sea parted and the enemies and the mountains will be shattered inside that sea in that name of Jesus Christ. I don't know what has been saying. They've said to you, you are infected with. I want you to tell that infection move in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we raise our voices this morning. We pray for our different nations and different countries. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, every single mountain that has been slowing us down in the continent of Africa. Father, we declare and decree that that mountain moves uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, Holy Spirit, whatever mountain that they have sought to, to, to raise against us, where we know we should be elected, where we know we should be promoted. Oh, God, uh, we speak to those mountains in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, Lord, we rise with the faith that moves mountains that will make sure that we are elected in the name of Jesus. That mountain is going down. That mountain that is standing against your promotion, it is coming down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to the mountain of debt that has been confusing you and you have been panicking. You have been saying, I'm going to be blacklisted. That mountain will move. Even if you are blacklisted, your roads shall be open in the name of Jesus. If you can't go through, go around. If you can't go around, I split it in the middle and go through, right through, right through, right through it. If you can't go right through it, go over it. Hallelujah. Somebody type in the comment section, mountain move, mountain move. We talk about the mountain moving faith this morning. Every mountain shall move move in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I thank you. I glorify you, O God. The grace that levels every single mountain is moving this morning in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, for assuredly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be ye cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart but believes that those things he says will come to pass. He will have whatever he or she says. Therefore, I say to you, whatever things that you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. Do I have believers who are standing on the scripture with me? Mark chapter 11 verses 23 verse 24 says, Assuredly, I say unto you, Kathy, if you will say unto this mountain, move, it will move. Nico, if you will say to this mountain, move, and it will move. Oh, Rabbi Shonda, Amelia, if you say to this mountain, move, it will move. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, if you don't doubt in your heart, this is the right word from God. Who is here? Noah Shekhar. Constance, if you do not doubt in your heart, the Lord is saying the mountain will move in the mighty name of Jesus. He says that you will have whatever you ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Who is here? Peggy Villagazi, the Lord says you will have whatever you say and you ask. Not what Pastor Fortune only says, but if you stand in agreement with me and you type in that comment section, Noashe, you need to, Roland Herbert, you need to tell the mountain to move. He says, who, if you believe it, you say it, you ask. The problem, saints, is people who don't ask. The problem, saints, is people who are quiet. The problem is people who are just folding their hands. You are watching others speaking. You are watching others. If you are, if you have heard enough, you are ready to lose your mind. When you have heard enough, you don't care. You dance like David. You don't care who is looking. You don't care who is saying what. Is it not you who is crying every night? So this mountain, mountain, this morning when you wake up, when you tap in that comment section, you you tap with the aggression and say, mountain, move. Oh, Shakarabaya whatsoever he says not whatsoever your friend says this is not the moment where I tell you touch your neighbor I tell your neighbor to tell the mountain to move for you no this is the time when you tell your mountain to move for yourself mountain move you declare it whoever is here I've got more than 80 something people on Fortune Online I need you to tell that mountain mountain move this is not touch your neighbor session mm -mm. this is not touch your neighbor we'll get to touch your neighbor touch yourself touch your mouth mountain move mountain move fortune tell your mountain to move Mountain move, financial depression move, Makoraba Sonda, financial lack move, move, you mountain move, you mountain of, of barrenness move, you mountain of marital, uh, uh, non marital settlement, you move, mountain move, you speak it, you say it to yourself.
Come on, somebody. He will have whatever he says. Listen to me. Roland, the Lord says you will have whatever you say for as long as you say it. My question this morning, Miss M, is are you saying it? Is your mountain moving? Are you saying it? Who is here? Kathy S. Are you talking to your mountain? Talk to me. Whatever mountain you are facing in the season of your life, I'm telling you, tell that unemployment mountain move, unemployment move, financial problems move, difficult marriage move, illness, talk to your mountain of a difficult marriage, reminded my vow was that I will marry you for good, for good, for good, for sweetness, do you remember that vow, you tell your husband or your wife and tell them, hey, remember what you vowed to me, you vowed to be good for me, you vowed to provide shelter for me, you vowed to be sweet to me, so therefore, you must be sweet to me. You must be romantic to me. Father, we speak to the mountain. Whatever financial problem, mountain, mountain move. Mountain move. Somebody comment there. Mountain move. Make sure you are tapping on the screen. In the name of Jesus. Facebook, are you alive? Mountain move. A mountain is moving on that Facebook. A mountain is moving on that YouTube. Let me check the temperature of the people on TikTok. Maybe the TikTok people are moving mountains. I see mountains fall. I see mountains fall in the name of Jesus. Orabashonda. What is the mountain that you are facing? Somebody is facing a mountain of foreclosure. Somebody is, has, has been told that they are repossessing their house. In the name of Jesus Christ, I need you to talk to your mountain and tell that mountain of foreclosure or whatever you call it in your country. If you call it a, a repossession, mountain mover, you bought that car with your own money. Why would they want to repossess it? Mountain move in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we speak to that mountain, that undefeated sin, that repeated fornication. Fornic Every single time you see a skate, every single time you see a man, you just want to jump into bed with them. The devil is a liar. There is no amount of undefeated sin that is going to stand up against the grace that needs to flow for us this month. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever sin, whatever sin I've been keeping secret, Lord, let that sin move. Let that mountain move. In the name of Jesus, speak to your mountain right now. Be thou removed. There is nothing that should withhold you from your destiny. Come on, child of God. Mountain move. Mountain move. Mm. This is not time for tears. This is the time for you to be militant. This is the protocol breaking prayer altar. Father, we thank you. We receive the keys of deliverance this morning. We receive the keys of freedom this morning. We receive the keys to abandoned life this morning. Father, we thank you, Lord. We are taking back what is ours in the name of Jesus Christ. By virtue of you just having even stumbled on this broadcast, you will not even have the guts to scroll out in the name of Jesus. You have come to receive the keys of deliverance in your life. You have received freedom. You will be liberated this morning. As your mountain moves, you, are, you will have and experience the abandoned life. It says, I came to give you life, not just any ordinary life, but I came to give you life in abundance. Your life has to definitely flourish. You will not live an average life. Thank you so much, Mteto. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree that Jesus did not come back to you so that you can be mediocre, but I came to give you an abundant life. Somebody declare mountain move no matter how many times you want to type it type it mountain move mountain move jesus came to return to us our authority children of god he calls us believers there's a reason why they say there is a believer's authority it is not a fake christian authority he came to give you your authority on earth he put you in charge of everything he said be fruitful multiply and replenish the earth he says you are in charge he says when you exercise your authority in prayer like you are doing this morning. He, you will receive the faith that you require and your faith keeps mushrooming. Your faith keeps growing and you will know that your faith will come into alignment with the will of God. And when the faith comes into alignment with the will of God and the heavenly realm, it comes into alignment with the earthly realm. So you have got a combination and a mating between what is happening in the heavens and the angels, angels are doing what they require. The earth is saying, I am responding. I am being romanced right now. And the will of God says you are right on point because you are moving according to my script. And it begins to affect your life. It affects your life in every single
single compartment. It affects your life in your love life. It affects your life in your finances. It affects you all around you. Somebody who's ready to romance with the will of God. Talk to me. Somebody declare mountain mover. Yes, God win mountain mover. Let there be a romance. Let there be intimacy between the heavens and the earthly realm. Let there be an, a romance between your faith uh, walk, between, between your faith talk, whatever you say with your mouth this morning. It is romancing the will of God. And God says, oh my God, he's moving according to my template. He's moving according to my purpose. He's moving according to the destiny set. He is not obstructed. He's not distracted. Talk to me, somebody. The Bible says, thou shalt decree a thing and you will declare a thing with your mouth and it will happen. If you are there and you are just typing and you are not talking at the same time, I want you to start talking and declare with your mouth, thou shalt decree a thing, thou shalt declare a thing, it shall be established as long as you say it with your mouth. Heaven is listening, the angels are listening, principalities and powers are listening, they know that you are taking charge in your rightful position. Oh, shakada by a Sunday, I'm a Sunday. Hey! The Bible says in the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 that you have the power to make your way prosperous, not your neighbor. I told you this is not a touch your neighbor session. This is you having the power in Joshua 1 verse 8. He says you have the way and the power to make your way prosperous. That means with your mouth you can declare how prosperous you will be in this week. In the name of Jesus, Joshua 1 verse 8 says to you, he says you have the power to mow down mountains mountains in your way. You have the declarations in your mouth to make sure that you are leveling the mountains that are facing you in the name of Jesus. He says, how do you do it, fortune? He says, by meditating upon my word, by obeying my word, do not choose what you will obey, but obey every single thing. Are you talking to me? Takunda Mara, you have the way to make your way prosperous. Apostle, apol apologies. Apostle Mara, you you have your way to make your way prosperous in the name of Jesus. Who is here? Let me see Mings in the name of Jesus Christ. May every single mountain in your way be leveled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says you have the power by meditation and obeying the word of God to put yourself and your life in place. Your life is too much in misplaced. You have enough to make sure that your life will go into the right placing. God will place you in your rightful state, your rightful position. Position. In the name of Jesus Christ, God will make sure that you will have uh, uh, your blessings. I told you yesterday, there are new blessings being loaded daily. Even this morning, you are receiving the Tuesday blessings in the name of Jesus. This is where the power of choice is. This is where there is a difference in terms of religion. Oh, Rabbi Shonda, no, thank you so much. God bless you for that gift. Hallelujah. So when God is in charge and when God is making you uh, 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 or, or, or leveling your 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 your, your mountains and when you are taking charge and doing what God says and you are busy leveling your mountain you realize that you are the one with choice there is there is what I love about the Christian faith that it gives you the choice you have the choice to choose life or death you have the choice whether you are going to do good or you are going to do right talk to me somebody can somebody keep typing on that comment section mountain mover talk to me hallelujah as you are typing that mountain move you are making a demand on the anointing to speak to your mountain in the mighty name of Jesus Christ so whatever you choose to speak, whatever you choose to declare, whatever need that you are declaring this morning, they will coincide with the word of God. They will coincide with the will of God. You will live how you are supposed to live. You will live according to the script of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, may you reflect the characteristics of a righteous person, a righteous child of God, a righteous son of God, a righteous daughter of God. You know the order of things you will give order in your life as you release your faith to move that mountain. Your faith must be released in power this morning. Thank you, Herbert. Your mountain will move in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is releasing the key to move your mountain in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The just shall live by faith. 
and they will not trust in their own abilities. I said the just shall live by faith. Are you the just that I'm talking to? Are you the just on YouTube? Are you the just on Facebook? The just shall live by faith and not by sight. You do not live by what you are seeing around you. You do not live around the circumstances or the symptoms around you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the just shall live by faith. They will not trust in their own abilities or someone else can do on their behalf. This is not a, thank you, Dundu. Hallelujah. It is not a touch your neighbor situation. I don't know whether you have told the other saints this morning who rose up this morning. This is not touch your neighbor. It is touch yourself. Call your name. Touch Fortune. Touch Peggy. Touch Benny. Touch Herbert. Touch Noah. Touch Noah. Who is here on Fortune Online? Herbert Masugu. Touch Herbert. This is not touch your neighbor. Herbert, you will have faith in God. I will live by faith because I am the just and the righteousness of God. Herbert, you will not rely on somebody else to do it on your behalf unless they are your destiny helper sent by God. But the just shall live by faith in the name of Jesus. And he says in Mark eleven twenty two, he says the instruction, he says, have faith in God. Have faith in God. Don't have faith in your uncle. Don't have faith in your mothers. Don't have faith in your friends. Have faith in God. You direct in the spirit. The destiny helpers come along. God will find a man. There is a man who's ready to execute. You have faith in God. Talk to me, somebody. Don't lift your problems to such a level that they become your idol. Hallelujah. Let me repeat that again for somebody who did not hear it. I said, do not lift your problems to such a level that they become your idol. How am I doing for time? I'm still okay. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. You serve a big God. You serve a faithful God who's able to deliver you out of your troubles. He says, I'm a faithful Faithful God, I'm able to deliver out of every single one of your troubles if you will walk in faith, if you will wake up and pray to me. And prayer, that prayer can change anything that is going on in your life. That prayer is moving your mountain. Move that mountain, somebody. As you are typing that amen, you are moving that mountain. Talk to me, somebody. Prayer can change things. Worship can change things. Your faith can move mountains. I declare and I decree you will prosper in every single kind of situation. You will prosper in good times. You will prosper in bad times. You will prosper in the recession that we are in, in the name of Jesus. The Lord says, I must remind you, your prosperity is not dependent on the JSE. Your prosperity is not dependent on the Dow Jones. Your prosperity is not dependent on NASDAQ. Your prosperity is not dependent on the mortgage interest rate. Your prosperity is not dependent on your salary average. Your prosperity is not dependent on the supply and demand of the community. Am I talking to somebody? Your prosperity is dependent on God. I'm preaching better than you are shouting that amen. I wish your amen could thunder even louder in the name of Jesus. Your prosperity is dependent on your obedience. Your mountain will be leveled as you are obedient in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Who is this God who sent me this morning? He says, I must tell you, if I was able to put the plagues on the Egyptians on the, in the land of Goshen, who am I? And I showed you that nothing fell on the Jews. There is no plague. Somebody needs to shout and declare with me. These Egyptians, I will see no more. The same God that sent the plagues on the Egyptians and the way they fell on them, those plagues will not fall on me. They will not fall on me. What affects the Egyptians cannot affect me. Those of you who are not deep in the things of the Christianity, Egyptians is everything that is resisting you. Every mountain that is trying to resist you. I declare and I decree in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, oh God, you are protected. Yes, oh God, I hear you, Lord. The Lord God says you are protected against the locust. You are protected against the plagues. You are protected against the judgment. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, it does not matter what has been presented in the court of heaven by the accused of the brethren. He says you are protected against that judgment. You will not have to serve that sentence, even though you, you know that you did that thing. The Lord says, I'm turning it around. In the name of Jesus, Karaba Sonda, I want you to declare with me and say, Lord, put the Goshen anointing on me right now. I receive the Goshen anointing. I receive the Goshen anointing. Oh, my father, my father, torment my tormentors. In the name of Jesus, I receive the Goshen anointing. Karaba Sonda, hey, Lord, as I receive the Goshen anointing, it may be falling on the people around me and my neighbors, but it will 
will not fall on me in the name of Jesus Christ. It will, I receive the anointing. The plagues will not touch me. I don't know what they are going through. I don't have any business with whatever they, they are suffering from. If they don't know that there is a Lord that can give me the Goshen anointing. It may be dark over there. It may be dark in that house. I have solar in my house. All I know is that the light of God is still shining for me and you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, it may be dark for some people. I declare and I decree it will not be dark for you because the Lord is your light and your salvation. He says the light of the righteous shines brighter and brighter to the perfectness of the day. The light of God will make sure that your paths are not crooked, they are straight. You will not miss your step. You will not step onto any stones that will make you stumble. Talk to me. Nyasha, are you still tracking with me? Locusts may be eating everyone else. Everything may be being devoured left and right and cell, right center, left and whatever. Whatever direction, wherever they are being destroyed. But you are going to have the rainfall from heaven. The rainfall from heaven is coming on your crops. You will reap a harvest, an abundant harvest in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree that you have the protection of God that will receive the rain, there is a rain, the rain, the rain. Somebody received the harvest. I saw this very clearly on Sunday. I saw the Lord showing a heavy rainfall and, and on top of mountains. Oh God, thank you. I see it now. Mm -hmm. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of his mighty wings. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand side, but it shall not come near you in the name of Jesus. Is there somebody who's typing that amen? Well, I said, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High God, YouTube, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High, Facebook, TikTok, TikTok, Mara Official, Fortune Online. Are you dwelling in the secret place of the Most High? He who dwells under the shadow of the Almighty wings, he receives total protection. That is the insurance that is better than Holland. It's better than Alan Gray. It's better than um, who else is these insurance people? It is better than any medical aid. It is better than discovery. It is better, better than any national health insurance. He who dwells under the shadow of the Most High God, he who is protected, thousands may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand side, but it shall by no means harm you. It shall no means turn, touch you. It will, the curse will not touch you. It will not touch you. There is the assurance that I received when I knew I was a born again child of God, that the curses that were happening to other people are not entitled to affect me because he gave me a mouth to speak. He said, I called you out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light so that you can walk in the blessings. And I gave you the formula and told you for you to activate the blessings. This is what you do. This is how you live. I gave you the template. Therefore, I am here this morning to remind somebody because you walk by faith, you don't walk by what you see. 10,000 shall fall at your right side. I don't know how many are at your left side, but whatever is happening is none of your business. Tell the devil and tell your neighbor, it is none of my business. All I know is that my mountains are moving this morning. In the name of Jesus, the Lord says, put your trust in me. Have faith faith in God. Put your trust in God. Have faith in God where you can say to your mountain, be there removed and be cast into the sea. Are there people who are ready to cast this uh, uh, mountains into the sea? We are about to close any minute from now. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we declare hey, every single mountain be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I will have whatever I say. It is coming to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As I type that, amen well. As I type that, amen well. In the name of Jesus, Koraba Sonda, this morning, by you being here on these prayers, you have been taught to speak to the mountains. Whatever stands in your way, you will learn to say, you have learned to say rather, be removed. Somebody type, be removed. Be removed. Your faith in a big God is the key to this moving of the mountains. As long as you have faith, this is the key that you are receiving this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will speak faith and your, your, your faith will move those mountains. When stuff gets in your way, you speak to that mountain. In the name of Jesus, there is no government program, no sasa, no grant that will move you. But it is God, it is your faith that will move you. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. There is no such thing that can 
mountain uh, or it's called mountain.com. No, 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 no. There is no website like that. That is there. No, no, no. We don't have websites that are establishing themselves against our lives. No mountain. Who is that? Is there a street called mountain, is mountain road or mountain street? No, 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 no. Be removed. Be removed in the name of Jesus. Do not get depressed. Do not get caught up in financial mountains that will dis disrupt you or depress you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, don't get involved with mountains that will weigh you down. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you have the power to move that mountain. And I declare and I decree that you are moving that mountain in the name of Jesus. Let me remind something, somebody this morning. God who sits always on the throne is there executing for you today. We have come to the throne of God. We have we've come to the throne of grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Karabashonda. Child of God, let me tell you something. Salvation is not only about going to heaven. Salvation is also about living an abundant life here on this present present earth. In the name of Jesus Christ, salvation that you attain is also about ruling. It's about you reigning in life. You need to rule. You need to reign in life. It is about your authority on the earth. It's about living in the kingdom of God. It's about living in the age of the kingdom where the age of salvation, the age of deliverance, the age of grace, the age of glory, the age of power, the age of prosperity is manifesting fully. Your faith is the key that will unlock and bring it to pass. Salvation is about you unlocking grace. Salvation is about you unlocking favor. It is not about you checking out and waiting for rapture to go to heaven. I don't know why some of you are still too too fast and you want to go, God to take you. If you are sick, if you are not ready to check out, do not hand in your ticket to check out. You are still here. We are enjoying here on earth. We were put here. Overtake, overtake, be in charge multiply, replenish, rule here. Why do you want God to take you? You are not going anywhere. We are sitting here. Salvation is about being fruitful. Salvation is about going forward in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are living here. We will experience the kingdom. We will become kingdom premiers. We will expand our businesses. We will own franchises. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we will be patronized in our businesses. Our marriages shall be sweet. Our children shall be obedient. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our careers will flourish in the name of Jesus Christ. We will have the necessary supplies to go and study and be whatever we want to be in the name of Jesus Christ. Grace is sufficient. Is somebody ready to pray as we pray ourselves out of the broadcast this morning? In the name of Jesus, Father, my Father, I'm ready to declare. Tell your neighbor I'm ready to declare. You can touch your neighbor now and say, I'm ready to make declarations this morning. Oh, Shakaria Basunda. You can touch your neighbor now. Touch your neighbor. Tag somebody. Tag your neighbor and say, hello, neighbor. I'm ready to declare right now. I'm ready to go into level three now. Level three. Level three. I don't know how many gears. These days we even have seven gears. Hallelujah. We even have cars that talk to themselves alone. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let me just make sure that this uh, uh, broadcast does not go off. Hallelujah. If my technical team can please help me and make sure that the mixer, make sure that it, it gets power. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, somebody type in in the comment section, mountain move, mountain move. It's time. Evangelist Elisha, I see you. Thank you. God bless you. Fadzi, I see you. We are ready to declare this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lena Richards, are you ready to declare? We are now moving into gear four, gear five, gear six, gear seven. Make sure you are going full speed, full throttle in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I declare and I decree, Lord, I am free. I am saved. I am the saved child of God. I am born again. I declare and I decree because of Christ, I am free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I am free. Somebody declare I am free. If your neighbor was too slow to tag you, tag yourself and tell yourself, I am free in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says whom the son sets free is free indeed. I declare and I decree that I am free. Come on, let's go. I'm just warming you up. I'm waiting to see if you guys are going. I am free. If the son of God has said you are free, you are free indeed. You can say I'm free and I'm free indeed. You are not in bondage. You are not in bondage. In the name of Jesus, I do not put my trust in men. Somebody declare it with me. I declare and I decree. I do not put my trust in men in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I do not put my trust in the flesh. Is somebody echoing with me or am I moving too fast? I'm moving as slow as I can. I do not trust in men. I do not trust in the flesh. I do not put my trust in the flesh, but I put my trust in God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I live by faith in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that I live by faith. Somebody type it. I live by faith. 
I live by faith. Guys, I need you to type faster. Come on, Shokori Yabasunda. Are you still sleeping? Are we on 10,000 likes here? Come on, come on, somebody. Talk to me. I put my trust in God. I live by the faith of God. In the name of Jesus, whichever one you can catch, make sure you are typing it as long as you are saying it with your mouth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree that you will walk by faith and you will not walk by sight. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that you are responsible for your decisions and your, your choices and your decisions and choices will be aligned with the will of God. If you can type amen, if it's easier for you, you can type amen as long as you are saying it with your mouth. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree that your decisions are aligned to the will of God. They are aligned. Their choices will be aligned with the will of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we choose blessings this morning. We receive our benefits for Tuesday today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we choose the word of God. We choose wisdom. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree you will walk with wisdom in Jesus' mighty name. Make sure that your amen is thundering right now. Type that amen well in the name of Jesus. Type that amen well. Karabashunda. Thank you, Lord, that you have told us that we are responsible for making our ways prosperous. Therefore, Lord, we declare and we decree that our ways shall be prosperous this morning and beyond. In the name of Jesus, my ways shall be prosperous. That is your affirmation. My way shall be prosperous in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I will not depart from the righteous way. My way shall be prosperous. I speak to the mountains this morning and the mountains, they will obey me. I declare and I decree that you will speak to your mountains and your mountains will obey you. They will obey your voice in the name of Jesus. Your heart will never depart from the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. And the Lord's heart will never depart from you because he has so told me to remind you, I will never leave you nor forsake you. My heart is with you. I am the God that sees all things. I am El Roy. I am the God who sees who I, what you are going through in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for prosperity. Thank you, Lord, for my faith that has grown. Thank you, Lord, for my faith that is leveling every single form of mountain that is facing me in Jesus mighty name. I love it. Facebook. You are echoing that. Amen. Well, you are shouting that. Amen. Well, I declare you will flourish because you live in the days of Messiah. You are living in the days of the Messiah who is making sure that he brings you out and delivers you. You are saved. You will prosper in the name of Jesus. Prosperity and good success are your portion because of the grace of God. We stand and agree with all the saints that are awake this morning that are on this broadcast. Lord, we decline, we decree, Lord. We move by the grace of God. The grace of God is unlocking our mercy. The grace of God has unlocked our good success. Not just any type of success, but good success. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we decline, we decree that everybody who's at the sound of my voice, they are flourishing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Father, we are ready this morning. We are demolishing every Every single mountain in our sight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Make sure you are tapping on that screen. Make sure you are tagging somebody and declaring for them. And tell them, move that mountain. Move that mountain. Move that mountain. Move that mountain. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. With the anointing that you have placed on my life. With the calling, Lord. That makes sure, Lord, that you have placed on my life. I thank you for choosing me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to these ones, oh God, whose faith is being raised this morning who are ready to declare and decree lord i speak to every mountain in their lives in the name of jesus christ i command them to be removed in the mighty name of jesus christ i declare and i decree that every single mountain in your life shall be cast into the sea in the mighty name of jesus christ i speak to every financial mountain that you are facing in the mighty name of jesus christ i declare that it has been removed in your life in the mighty name of jesus christ let every evil mountain hear the voice of god this morning in the mighty name of jesus christ every evil mountain every evil altar that has been speaking against your destiny fulfillment in the name of Jesus Christ. It is hearing the voice of the Lord as we are echoing it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I declare and I prophesy to the mountains and I command them to hear the word of the Lord and to be removed. I stand on your word in Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 4. Lord, I prophesy every single mountain. I command you to hear the word of the Lord and to be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I stand on your word in Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 10. I say, let the mountains tremble at the presence of God. Every single mountain that is facing us, it will tremble in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Christ. Lord, I declare it and I decree it. Every single mountain will tremble at the sound of your voice, at the presence of God. Lord, we thank you that you have been present in this meeting from the start to the finish of it. Oh God, that your presence has assured that every single mountain that has been mentioned here this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every single mountain that has been troubling your children, oh God, Lord, that mountain trembles at your side. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, we thank you. Lord, we rise on Micah 6, oh God. We declare and we decree that you will contend with every mountain and command them to hear our voices this morning. In the name of Jesus, you will contend with my contenders. You will contend with every mountain that is contending against me. It will hear the voice of God and it has to be leveled. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we speak to every mountain of flesh of Esau, Lord. Lord, to waste. We speak to that mountain, oh God. We declare and we decree we shall not be wasted in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. You are wasting my wasters. Somebody declare it in the comment section. Waste my wasters, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Somebody declare in the comment section. Contend with my contenders, oh God. Whatever form they are taking, whether they are human beings or things, an object, object or whatever, contend with my contenders contend with my bank account if it is not responding the way it's supposed to be oh god in the name of jesus christ lord i speak to every single mountain of debt i declare that it is removed in the name of jesus christ be thou cast into the sea lord let your children be borrowers and not be lenders not be borrowers in the mighty name of jesus christ we declare and we decree lord we shall not be borrowers but we will be lenders to the nations in the name of jesus christ lord we remove the spirit of 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 of, of being stuck in in debt oh god where we are enslaved to other people of God. Father, we declare and we decree, we speak to the mountain of lack. We level it down in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, let every single mountain of financial debt be cast into the sea. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are destroying every single one of that mountain, oh God. Let every single mountain that we are facing, oh God, in your presence be melted down. Let it melt down like lava on a volcanic flow. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, make waste every single evil mountain in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Are you typing that amen well? Are you typing that amen well? Ah, we thresh every single mountain. We beat them small. We make every hill as sharp in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Every mountain in your way will become plain in the name of Jesus Christ. I said, I declare and I decree that every single mountain on your way shall be made plain in Jesus' mighty name. As you thunder that amen, I seal it. It is done in Jesus' mighty name. The devil does not have a say on it. The devil is a liar and so is his mother-in-law and the father-in-law in Jesus' mighty name. I decree it. Mountain move. Mountain move. The mountains have moved in Jesus' mighty name. Father, as we continue with our 31 days of grace and, and favor, oh God, let mountains be moved. Let the mountains be cast into the sea. Let every single person who rose this morning, oh God, to come to this altar, oh God, whatever mountain they came to exchange on this altar, oh God, that they came to leave and to be casting them into the sea oh God. Let them not see those Egyptians anymore. In Jesus mighty name I thank you Holy Spirit because you have honored this meeting with your presence in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May we give God the glory. Somebody type in the comment section. I will testify. It is my time to testify. Type in that comment section. It is my time to testify. I want to thank you everybody on YouTube. I want to thank everybody on Facebook, TikTok. Thank you so much for the sacrifice of waking up at 5 a.m. in the morning and making sure you are here. It is not child's play. I've been up since 3 a.m. Every single day, 3 a.m., I'm already up. I'm making intercession. I am tired of being tired. I am tired of saying enough is enough. I want to see change. And therefore, I am thankful for those who have joined my team, those who are subscribing, those on Mara Official, those who are on Fortunate Online, all our ministry partners who are standing with us who are praying we will see the salvation of the lord we will spread this gospel to all the four corners of the earth i am grateful for all the nations that come and congregate on these meetings that we are having in the name of jesus christ wherever you are distance is not a barrier whatever words we declare on this platform shall come to pass in the name of jesus christ i bless you somebody type keep on typing it is my time to testify god bless you god bless you it is your time to testify um 
um, YouTube and Facebook. Please, uh, thank you. God bless you guys. Please make sure you go subscribe to the YouTube channels. Go and find Takunda Mara. Go and find Fortune Nehuabe, Fortune L Online or Takunda Mara. You subscribe to the YouTube. You want to rewatch this program that we had this morning. It's your time to testify, Laura Govinda. It's your time to testify, Herbert Masugu. It's your time to testify, Face Sam. It is your time. Make sure you go and rewatch. If, if you are on my channel, you will see all the ones that are saying 31 days of grace and favor from one, two, three, today is day 16. You will find the video recording there. You go to Apostle Mara's YouTube, you will find it there. Those of you on Facebook, please do yourselves a favor. Also subscribe to our YouTube channels because we, we remove them on Facebook as well. In Jesus name, because we've been attacked on Facebook um, people just steal. We grow the accounts and then people steal it. But the Lord has has opened the door on YouTube. So let's go and make sure we populate on YouTube so that you can soak in the word anytime. We don't sell our messages. They are there for free for you so that you can enjoy and bask and meditate. Thank you so much. God bless you so much. I love you guys. It's your time to testify. Noasha, it is your time to testify in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen.